Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and this is part of my Inktober series. This is days 18 through 21 and the prompt for day 18 was mushrooms. I wanted to do like a mushroom journal page for this prompt. So I have a couple different variety of mushrooms and some that I didn't even know existed, which are kind of interesting. If you haven't seen my previous Inktober videos or if you missed one and want to maybe see back from the beginning, I will leave a link to my 2021 Inktober playlist in the card above. So today is October 30th that I'm recording this and getting this video out and I only have up to day 21. Now I'm kind of sad about this because I don't think I'm going to make the deadline of tomorrow which is the 31st because I have 10 pieces left to do. However, I may, which probably won't happen, but I may spend Sunday doing all the rest of the Inktober pieces or as many as I can. And I may go into a little bit of November to finish it. I'm not sure yet because Animal Crossing is coming out with an update and a DLC pack. And if you are into Animal Crossing, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And I bet you are just as excited as I am. But if you are not into Animal Crossing, I apologize for talking about it because I'm sure if you're not into it, it might be annoying. Anyways, this Animal Crossing update is coming out on the 5th or possibly the 4th in the evening. It's unclear, but I am super pumped for this and I've been wanting to get my island ready and just redo some things and get some Nook Miles because I'm so excited for all the stuff that's coming. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do for Sunday. I'm debating between spending it doing Inktober pieces and possibly pushing through to get these last 10 days out, or I want to get back into streaming and stream getting my island ready for this update. It's just such a hard decision on what I want to do. So this was day 19 and the prompt was candles. I wanted to play with the effect of smoke to see if I could achieve it or not. And I wanted a really dark background. Here I am going in with some paper towels, which I ended up really liking the effect, and then I tried to just go and darken in around it. I did add some white gel pen for some details to just enhance that smoke effect. I also went in with some shading over the candles so they weren't pure white, but I did want them to stand out the most in this piece. So for this third week of Inktober pieces, I was really struggling on getting them done and planning my last week of pieces. Day 20, the prompt was sun and moon, and I actually had this as one of my original sketches back in September when I started planning for Inktober, and I really like this piece. I wasn't really sure what to do with the side of the sun. I really like the side, the right side with the moon. That is my favorite part. I wanted the moon half to be white with some darker features and I wanted the side of the sun to be darker with a somewhat lighter background. I took some of that masking fluid and masked out the stars on the moon side and while that was drying I worked into the sun side. I accidentally streaked some of the ink and instead of trying to get rid of it or cover it up I ended up just doing the same thing 
um, on the other sun ray, I guess, so that it just didn't look like it was an accident and that it was meant to be there. I put some salt in the side of the moon for a nice starry background because I really do enjoy that effect. And then I just finished painting the sun. Knowing that I only have 10 pieces left to do makes me really want to push through and get them done because this is the closest I've ever been to completing Inktober, but I don't want to put out pieces that I'm not happy with or that I'm just doing something to get it out there and not having something that I'm happy with. So for the last piece in this video was day 21 and it is lantern. And what I wanted to do with this piece was make the lantern have a candle inside that is drying moss to it and then have a glowing effect around it. I really like the old style lanterns, the iron ones, so I tried to make one that looked like that and then here I am just planning out how I wanted the glowing effect. So I went in and painted the metal of the lantern first and I made the moss um, totally black. And then here I am going in wet and wet and using that paper towel that I used when making my candles, the candle piece, because I really like that effect and I thought it would make a good glowing effect. I'm not sure if I left the center too white, so I tried to go back in a little bit, but I think I could have gone even a little darker because it just seems too bright and I'm not sure if I achieved that necessarily glowing effect that I was looking for. So those are the four pieces that I created in this video. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm curious to see which one's your favorite. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps my channel out and stay tuned for more Inktober videos. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you in my next one. Bye!